Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Hi guys, good to have you all back. We're doing another project for Gunther's Grungy Field Note Travel Journal, or what have you. Yes. So here's where we left off yesterday. Well, for you it's yesterday. For me, it's a couple hours ago. Uh, we made the cover. Yes, with the flappies. We're going to make pockets and such. We did the grunging. We did the spine. We did all the stenciling. It's not finished yet. It's just, you know, the background. Yeah. And this is what I want to do today with you guys, yeah? I'm going to concentrate on one half. This is going to be a project. I'm going to make um, a lovely pocket here. And on this flappy, I have another sort of project in mind. Yes, it's going to be cute. So I'm going to concentrate on this side of the page and then probably in another video on the other side of the page, yeah? Okay, let me show you the supplies that I'm using for today's project. For supplies, I'm using the basics. I'm going to use uh, scissors, glue. I'm going to try out Bart again. I need um, a circle punch to make a notch. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be grunching and inking a little bit more. So I have a ground espresso and black soot. Yeah. I think I want to use an eyelet or something. So I'm going to use this. Um... For this one, I also need to make some sort of a closure. I'm probably going to use a die cut for this, for a smaller circle. Like a three quarter of an inch circle. I don't have this. I have a one inch circle, a half an inch circle. And half an inch is too small, one inch is too big. I'm going to be using some brad, some eyelets. Uh, I am going to be stamping. Yes, I am. I want to try out this one from Tim Holt. It's the faded type um, because I really love this stamp already used it before uh, for some sort of background stamping and then for numbers and signatures i am using uh, dates from the past one and two from sammy pool from sam pool yeah um for paper yes i'm using this this is a sort of a street map or a bicycle map or a road map or whatever you want to call it it's a map that you have in your car well that you used to have in your car before we had you know machine that did this <laughs> telephones and such so i'm going to use a map yes not from an atlas from like a road map and you know we took out all these beautiful lovely um, ephemera pieces so some of these for some embellishing okay let's get started i'm going to start with the pocket and then sort of switch over to the the flappy thingy yeah so let's get started okay uh, the flap on this pocket here, we left way too long. So you can uh, just cut it off. I'm just going to cut it off, guys. I'm just going to cut this piece off. Yes. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to mitre it. Just put a snippy here. Yeah. And then a snippy here. On the bottom and on the top. Now. We made a cut here, so I actually need to fold this. I am going to use a scoreboard for this because... Oops! Hello! <laughs> the scoreboard is not having it today. Here you go. Now I need the other half. No clue where it is. So I'm going to take out another tool. Well, that happened. I was attacked by my scoreboard. I just need to make a score here. He was like, you can do this by hand. You don't need me. You've already used me today. It's my day off. I'm just going to use this tool then. There you go. I'm just going to score here. Yes. Can we fold it? We can. So I'm going to fold this. Yeah. See? We almost have our pocket. Again, I am going to take off just a snippy on the top. Doesn't even need to be on the bottom because this is rounded. 
Now, hopefully, I'll find my bone folder somewhere. Somewhere. can find it. Stay. Right. So, before I glue this down, I want to do all sorts of crunching, background stamping. You know, the works. So, I'm going to have a piece of paper underneath. There you go. I'm, I think I'm going to have it like so. I think this will work best. Let's start crunching. Okay, I'm taking out a ground espresso. I'm going to do basically the same as I did with the, with the cover. I'm just going to take a lot of the corners. Yeah. Also on the bottom. Yep. Tiny bit of black soot. Oops. I'm going to make a notch later, guys, um, after I put all the stuff on. There you go. Grunchy, grunchy. We love it. Yep, do we need a little bit on the bottom? Well, apparently we do. Yes, grunge enough. Look at my fingers. <laughs> right, so. Now, I want to do a lot of embellishing on here. Add um maybe even breads or eyelets just for decoration but before i glue it down i also want to have some decoration behind here i don't really know what i want for this i have an idea but not like a certain idea so what i want to do is start decorating the pocket like so yeah this is going to be the pocket this is the uh the, this is the top side and this is the bottom side let's take out some lovely pieces of ephemera and make sort of a beautiful collage with some background stamping and such yeah let's take them out some beautiful um ephemera pieces i'm just gonna empty this pouch here um what do we have what do i want i think i want this yes yes Something like this. I think I want to sort of repeat the green. I don't mind it stick it out. No, it can stick out. No problem. Or do we want the back side? Yeah, I think I want the back side. Something like this. Yes. And do we have more green in here? These are all sort of medium-sized pieces. On the picture, no. Okay, I think these are the medium-sized pieces. Let's take out some of my smaller pieces. And what do we have? Oh, we have this one. There's a little bit of green in here. Hmm. This is a match um, book cover, but I don't think I want to just put it on. I want this to be sort of interactive. Well, wow, you can have it interactive, love. How about you put it here and then it goes up? Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, done. Yeah. I think I want a stamp. Or something stamp something green Hello, green ones Canada like so let me flip this up 
you could have sort of a it is a sort of a tuck spot you could have something in here or stamp something lovely on it with another stamp which one I think I want to stamp something on it <clears throat> what do you guys think yeah does it leave sort of room anywhere to put some more stamps in the background maybe we could add something here i also have this guys uh from mr tim holt and there's some green in here as well some washi tape oh yes yes i'm gonna use some washi tape as well so i'm just gonna add a couple of numbers here i guess a couple of numbers here on the background and the other parts are going to be on top of here yeah okay I'm gonna get rid of all the rest <laughs> and then we're gonna concentrate on this part i don't think we're gonna make a notch after all probably in the other pocket but it's gonna be fine uh i took everything thing out put it here i can remember i need something here so i'm gonna put a stamp there and let's see i want to have a date October 1927 or November 1925. Let's see how big is this. No, I'm going to go for the October one. Yeah. Yes. I'm stamping with uh, fallen leaves. I don't know how this uh, color will react to the background, but we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. I have no, I don't see what I'm doing. So hopefully it is on there. It is, it is. Also what I'm going to do, I know there's a piece left here. Visible. So I'm just going to put this here. Just in case you see something. And maybe something over here. So yes, I'm using the same stamp. But you only see parts of it everywhere. I do like, really like the color. Um, on this sort of brown grungy yes uh, but I need to let it dry I need to let it dry that's it for all the stamping well maybe we're gonna do some stamping on top of stuff yeah okay what I also want is to make a small sort of tab over here so that you can open it and I think I want to do this on this side yeah so I have this small piece of greenish, dark green sort of paper. And I'm just going to take out a strip. With your scissors? Yes, with my scissors. Now, I'm going to do the following. <clears throat> I'm going to round uh, corners with the smallest setting, which is this one. Guys, this morning, well, a couple hours ago, I watched a video of copycat craft jill or something something like it i'll i'll um i'll link her channel below i had so much fun uh she made uh, three gretchens <laughs> yes and they are amazing they're a little bit different she was such a lovely lady she had like so many really kind things to say about me i was sort of blushing slash almost crying she was so kind um and she did something with an, a closure and an eyelet using uh, one of the die cuts from a Tim Holtz set. I don't have them at hand uh, at the moment, but that's okay. I'm going to do her trick. Yes. So it's just this. Then you fold it in. However big you want. Yes. And I'm going to put it over here. Have it stick out a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm going to put an eyelet in. Just just for the fun of it yeah there you go there you go going to glue it first i don't have need um i don't want it to stick out a lot because it is almost on the edge of a of the page so but just for a tiny bit for a tiny bit we can do this yes oh barge blowing bubbles um 
ink the edge for, for, for a bit. Yeah. Let's find a lovely eyelet to put in here just for decoration, guys. It does ha doesn't have any function at all. Found an eyelet. Yep. Making a hole. These are big eyelets. I probably even need to make the hole bigger. I am going to punch through a couple of layers, apparently. I'm going to go over here. Yes. Now, this eyelet is too big for this hole. But we have a trick for this. Take out a pencil, put it in, and you just turn it around. It will make the hole a little bit bigger without um, sort of um, damaging it. Yeah, you just twist it until it fits. Which isn't at the moment. <laughs> it's a couple of layers, so... It takes a couple of turns. Or you could also take out an eyelet that does fit. But I, I just love these ones. Come on, love. You can do it. Can you? Yes. Well. Oh, yes. I'm going to do two projects in one. Well, You're spending five minutes on putting in an eyelet, love. <laughs> It'll be fine. There you go. But I do like it a bunch. Yeah. So this is going to go on top of this. This is going to go over here. This here. This behind here. That was the idea. Yeah. So I'm going to put this tape all along this butter. The bottom of this piece. It says strictly handmade. Well. I'm not lying, it is strictly handmade. There you go. Just flipping it over. Yes. We need to glue this part down. I'm, I'm going to have it stick out a little bit, right? Yes. Hi Bart. Are you done blowing bubbles? I haven't tried um, gluing vellum and, and such, which apparently goes really, really well with um, barely art glue. Oh, we're going to lose this. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah. Mm, okay. But, you know, that happens. I'm going to put this one over here. This is from one of my freebies, guys, in case you're, you're interested. Yes, um, but this is going to go underneath and Canada is going to stick out. But just on this corner. And there you go. A little bit further. And this is going to go over here. Again, sticking out a little, well, the bottom part is sticking out a little bit. I'm leaving a little bit of room between the tape and this uh, board. I think that looks better. Yeah. Okie dokie. And this is going to go behind. But before I do all this, I need to check if it then will still fit on the pocket. There you go, pockets. Will it still fit? This goes here. This goes here. Yep, it will. It will still fit. gonna put the glue here and then see where this goes don't look at the back I'm not looking at the back oh I looked at the back I need some stamping here yes uh, I need some stamping here and here so maybe something here 
and uh, perhaps something over here. Yes. So, getting out some stamps. Okay, um, more stamps, more ideas. <laughs> I have so many ideas, guys. Yes, um, I already love the project. Let's do, let's do just some numbers, I'm thinking. And also, I want to do another piece of tape. Um, just here on the top that says strictly handmade. I think I want to have this over here. Will that fit? Yes. Yes. Lovely. Now we need a number here. There you go. And um, we need something here, of course. This says Paris something. Paris 1880. Probably not a very realistic date for this piece of paper, but I don't mind. Do you? I don't. And uh, du 31. Well, that's like, like five pieces, uh, five different languages in one sentence. Du 31. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need a tiny stamp block. Let's start with this one. Yes, I'm going to go with the fallen leaves. I love this color. If black is too black, then this is the perfect color. I don't think Parents 1880 fits. No, it doesn't. It doesn't fit, love. Not on this, this piece. So let's have another number. There you go. Yeah, that looks way better. Way better. Now, when I flip this up, uh, it needs a little bit here. Yeah. Like what? Mm, no, like. Like this. Basically, everything that's on here, if I stamp it on here, it'll look fantastic. See? Number 48. Should be number 47. Oh, we can also put something here, of course, because we may flip it up. That'll look lovely. So, why not? Mm -hmm. Another. Oh, that's... Well, you could try. You could try. I don't think you'll be very successful, but you could try. <laughs> I mounted a stamp atop of another stamp. Oh, that is a lovely font. I have not used that one yet. Yeah, that's a fantastic font. Anything else? Card postal. It's not a card postal, but we don't care, do we? No. No. Card postal. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Are we done with the stamping? Oh, unless you want to have uh, another sort of stamp there. We do have a small spot here. Well, now I guess we're done. Yes. Uh, but I have more ideas, guys. I found this. This is the strippy that we took of the um, of the pocket, and I, I'm thinking I just want to flip it over, put it over here. Yes, a little bit shorter. Uh, attach it with with a brad so that you can sort of, I don't know, make it interactive or will that? Well, you don't. Need, then you don't. You cannot flip it over then. I'm sorry, guys. Today, my Dutch is coming through really, really well. Um, corner rounder. Corner punch. There we go. Doing this and this. Are you making it shorter? I'm leaving sort of the, uh, the score lines in here because I just find that very interesting. 
and just round the corners on both ends. Why not? I just want to have this on here. Yeah. A little bit of inking. And uh, we need to stamp something on it. Yes. I'm going to stamp this on it. Number 48. Yeah? I need the bread. Um, already took a couple of them out. I'm gonna go for this one. Pocket tool. It's just gonna look interesting, I think. Come on. See, you can sort of move it about. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. I just think it's interesting, guys. Now, when you flip this up, this really is a tuck spot. So I was thinking Gunter probably uses this to store his postage stamps that he uses to, you know, when he travels all around the world. So I'm just going to put... I just took out a handful of whatever I have. These are from all over the place. Gonna end with the green one. Yes. Will this fit? This one is too tall. So not this one. See? I'm gonna have the poster stamps in here. Isn't that cute? Fantastic, yes. But now we need to glue it to the original pocket. Before I glue it on, uh, this needs more distressing. So I'm going to just flip it up, take out my favorite stamp of all time, put on ground espresso, just one dot, yep, and then do this. Oh, a little bit over here. Yeah, much, much better. Do we want to ink this? No, love. This is sort of original, original aging around the all the edges. So let's leave it, leave it. Okay, now I want to glue this on. Oh, we have a bit left here. We have a bit left here. We do. Just leave it, love. You don't need to put everything everywhere at all time. Yeah? Gonna do it like so? Yeah. Okay, so I'm putting glue here. Yes, on the bottom. Here, here. Oh, and apparently here. All righty then. Am I in frame? Hopefully I am. does move about a little bit good for you Bart good for you yeah did I put glue here hopefully I didn't <laughs> is it crooked oh it does move about oh oh I'm really in love with it then yes see I can still move it art would be like nah don't think so <laughs> So you can flip this up and you can twist this all around, whatever you want. Doesn't have any function at all other than cute. Right, so I'm left with this spot here. This spot needs something. What? Oh, it needs it needs a uh, stamp of whatever. I was gonna put a stamp there anyway, right? Yes. Why not have a stamp just like this all over it? Just like so. Fantastic. Just gonna use this. Don't even know if this is upside down or right side up or 
what have you. It's just on there now and there's almost nothing here. <laughs> and we really wanted to have something there. But hey, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Great. Now, let's just try to flip this up. Let's see how this will look. Well, it looks fantastic. Don't you think? It looks amazing. Yes, flip this up. Turn this all around. Whatever you want, guys. Now, before I glue this pocket down, I really want to have something um, in the background as well. And it also needs to be another sort of pocket. Another one? Yes, another one. Um, for this sort of trick here to work. So I'm going to take out some papers. Let's see what we can find. Guys, I think I found something. I want to use this one. Isn't it beautiful? It is so beautiful. It's a real one. This is from 1924. Yes, it is. However, I'm going to have this as a pocket. Yes, over here, underneath here. Yeah, it is a little bit too long. So I need to snip uh, a little bit off. Yeah, it's going to be a top loading pocket. This, however, is going to have sort of a, a string closure with like a circle here and then a circle here so that you can string it around. So that's why I cannot glue this one on yet. However, I'm just going to mark it. It's going to be glued here. And here so in between this part i don't need to do any decorating but i do want to do um, some decorating on the other parts and i'm thinking to use because i really love this stamp with the numbers some sort of background stamping shall we try the um, uh, brushed corduroy again was it brushed corduroy that i did on the front i believe so it just leaves a little bit of a lighter um, image on just gonna try it if it doesn't work well then it doesn't work you know where I'm going to try it? Here. <laughs> Here where nothing is on. Maybe it is too light. It probably is. Yeah, it really is. It really is. I am sorry, Bros Corduroy. It is not your day today. It isn't. I'm going to stamp it off. So, just let's just do something darker then. Um, gather twigs. Now hopefully this will work better. I think I don't think I want to use the. Yes, I'm gonna do gather twigs. I don't think I want to use the um, what's gonna call it? Ground espresso. Yeah. So this is gonna show over here. So I'm gonna put some numbers there, and then this is gonna show over there yes what else is going to show well a lot here some numbers here yep and some here on the top and some over here Yes, let's put the card back. Are we happy with this? Yes, yes, I think we are. I think we are. Um, and some splatter stamping. And splatter stamping. <laughs> just, you know, here and there. Let's just do some splatter stamping. Yeah, well, apparently, yeah. Okie dokie. Now we can finally glue this one down. I'm using Bart again. Here goes nothing. Love it. How long do I need to sort of push?
push it down. Well, yay long. <laughs> All righty then. Yep, I'm going to put the card where I want it. Oh, it already looks awesome, doesn't it? Yes, I'm going to take a bit off of this side. I just checked, guys. Uh, the video is going to be too long. <laughs> so the, this awesome project with a map is going to wait until tomorrow. But I do want to finish this uh, pocket. I have time for this. Um, I'm going to put one of these on. I, I used a die cut set from Mr. Tim Holt from chapter 3 to make these. Because my circle punches are way too big. And I want this to be smaller. Uh, basically, it's going to have a closure like so. Yeah. Uh, I can attach this later in another video, but I really need to attach this sort of now. <laughs> sort of now. Uh, that is not a real pokey tool though. So, sort of attaching it here, just with a brad. Small one, cute one, there we go. Because this is a pocket, I am going to put a strip of tape over it. So whatever we put in here will not get stuck um, on these brads. Yes. I think it looks amazing. But it has so much room for more stamping. And there's even some blue stamping on here. So I'm thinking to add a little bit more of blue stamping. Yeah. What color are you using? Um, probably no. <laughs> price ribbon then I think price ribbon will be yeah I'm going to use price ribbon so I'm going to do a little bit more stamping here and there some lovely additions uh, this is in Hamburg everything on here is in French <laughs> um, yeah that's too bad yeah but I'm at least going to have a uh, perfume violet on here. Sure, sure. Are you sure? This is Gunter's um, journal, love. He doesn't do anything with perfume. Yes, well, it's going to have a French sort of address in Hamburg. We cannot do everything in French or in German, love needs to be this is like a multi cultural whatever i'm gonna do it over there oh so cool love the color blue as well i really do i'm thinking i want to have a piece of this here We, we will only see it when we sort of flip it up. But that is quite all right. And I have another one here on the bottom. Yeah. Love this. Love this. Well, the other one has more numbers. Where's my other stamp? Because guess what? Numbers are all the same in every language. Not in the blue. In this color. Yes, if you hear some snoring in the back, Daisy's at it again. <laughs> She's been away for a couple of days. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, I love this one so much. Some more numbers here. Something over there. Are you sure you still want numbers, love? Well, I'm going to have a date on here. I don't even know what date it is, but... Oh, 1936. That is a cool one. There you go. Oh! It's like the same handwriting. It's gonna have this one. There's another date here. Don't. I don't even care. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Alrighty then, 
enough with stamping enough with stamping enough with the stamping love it is done oh, i love this blue this blue looks amazing all righty then um also not having a notch in this one let's just see how this looks why did you do the blue everything is in green well you know that happens you can have another color on here and that's no problem at all am i gonna do inking a bit i'm gonna do a bit of inking maybe i still have some vintage photo left on here yeah just a tiny bit to have it stand out a little bit more yes 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 much better do you want some splatters yeah I'm sorry, I also want some splatters. Second generation, third generation splattering. Yes. Much better, love. Much better. Okay. Well, Bart, this is your last chore for today. I'll put this on here and here. All the way around. There we go, go. And then we go like so. Great. I did put down some limes. Oh, that's okay. Just glue it wherever you want, love. Yes. Yes. That's it for today, guys. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's look at the end result. So here's what we did today. We made this lovely pocket. It is an interactive one. Yes, well, we're going to put stuff in. I'm going to make a femme line search. Uh, you flip this up. Yeah, well, this is where you keep your post stamps. I had a little piece of the tape left, so I just, I just put it here. Yeah, and if you want to, you know, do something, you can flip this all around if you want to. Not necessary at all. So we made a big pocket here. It has gussets. So that means it can um, handle a lot of paper here. So we can put a lot of stuff in. This one, we did not make gussets. There's just only going to be uh, some pieces in here. We did some lovely stamping all around. Love it, love it, love it. Completely altered it, yeah? So I am really sorry that we couldn't do this one. But, you know, we're going to do that tomorrow oh yes let's do it tomorrow i'm just into gunter at the moment so i'm gonna do uh, this one tomorrow with you guys yes i hope you enjoyed it guys i am already really excited for this uh journal um it is inspiring it gives me ideas and ideas i hope to see you all well tomorrow with another project until then bye guys